What is up, DJ Armin? The other what else? is John doing a first look of Hawken here. Uh, this is a free-to-play new first-person mech game. It's pretty cool, actually. It just went into open beta 12-12-12, and I'm, I played it a little bit in closed beta just to kind of get a feel for it to see if I liked it. It plays a lot like World of Tanks, and uh, I actually just put a video out this. I, uh, some of you might have already seen my first look. I took it back down because one of the biggest parts of the game, um, the how they make money in this game, is actually not what I thought it was. Thanks to... Legeskai Oluja, I probably messed up your name, I'm real sorry about that. Um, he told me that, you know what, you got it wrong on that part, and that's actually one of the biggest parts of the video that I did on the first look. So, basically, here I'm in the garage, where I have my mechs, and right now I only have one mech, it's kind of like World of Tanks in that regard. Uh, this is the newbie mech, I already have it to level 3, you level quite quickly in this game. Um, again, this is open beta, so it might change when it quote-unquote releases. Um, but I'm already level 3, all your mechs start at level 1. And uh, you can customize your mech, so we're going to go into that real quick. So at level 7, I can start customizing my primary weapon here. Oh, I'm level 3 now, so I can um, upgrade my offensive item. I don't have one right now, so I can borrow one. Uh, in the closed beta, I did use these HE charges. They're really awesome. You can buy a turret, which will shoot at your enemies. Um, MG turret, what's the difference here? Oh, rocket turret. Okay, this is a rocket turret. This is a gun turret. EM EMP, uh, this can be dangerous if you use close... Okay... Shutting down their mechs. Oh, nice. Okay. So you can fire it at other people's mechs and shut them down. Now, the difference here is it lists two types of credits here. Hawken credits and Meteor credits, okay, or points. Uh, you can use either of these to buy these items. Uh, the Hawken credits are what you earn in-game. You're, um, you're, I don't know, I'm probably earning about three or 400 per game, maybe more. Uh, or you can use Meteor credits, which are actually bought with real money. So, in this regard, as far as I know, I haven't seen anything in game yet that only has Meteor Points. You can buy everything in the game with free-to-play credits, which is cool. At first, I thought you had to have Meteor Credits and Hawken Credits to buy this, but you don't. Um, I cannot unlock this yet because I actually don't have as much credits. So, that's cool. And again, thanks to um, Bliskai Luja. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guy. I'm just messing up your name. I'm real sorry about that. Please post in the comments if that's you. This is your credit goes to you for uh, telling me about that. They don't even explain that in the game, really. What they do explain, though, is they have some... Well, again, I don't want to pop around too much. We're in the garage here. So other upgrades you can get as you level, you get these just uh, free unlocks. Like I got plus one optimization point um, when I got when I was level one. Uh, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, negative five to my weapon spread when I fire my cone of, of accuracy, basically. Alternate item equipment unlocked. So I got that unlock at level 3, which you just sh saw. Um, the body shop, also, you can change out your um, the way your mech looks. Like I'm changing my legs right here. Um, you can also change out the head, which I'll probably be doing eventually. I'm not sure about the newbie mech. I might unlock a different mech. Um, but there's lots of different things. Paint shop, you can paint your mechs. Again, all this stuff. Now, this stuff, it looks like, is just straight up... Um, spending money to purchase the different skins, a lot like World of Tanks. As far as I know, see, I don't see any, yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, optimization, now, remember, you score, you get a, an optimization point every time you level. I've already spent two of mine, I have another one, one remaining, because I hit level three. And this is a tree, a lot like WoW. Uh, each of these trees, you know, offense, defense, movement, if you play World of Warcraft, you know how this works. Basically, I need to keep spending into this tree to unlock the next level. Um, I'm going all out offense on this mech just because I like um, killing people in the face. It's fun. And I've already started in on increased weapon damage, so I'm just going to keep going with that to try to boost that up. Now, that only adds like plus 0.5% uh, to my total weapon damage, so it's not a lot, but I, all these add up to over time to make you pretty powerful. So I'm going to go with that. All right, so that's the garage and how you uh, upgrade your mechs. Now, let's look at. How you uh, how you buy new mechs? That's the mech shop. Each of these mechs have different roles, uh, and they tell you kind of what they do. Mid-range all-purpose. So you can see he's got the tow rocket, which is what I have on this guy already. On my main mech, this is the actual new mech. But this, on my newbie mech, I have that submachine gun and assault rifle. Infiltrator has camo, and he has a couple other weapons here. But basically, he's trying to get in, uh, behind enemy lines. The scout is very fast. Um, he can re recharge his own thruster fuel which very quickly and get around the uh, get around the map really quick. He also has looks like shotguns, which is pretty cool. Uh, the sharpshooter is a sniper, 
So a lot of his stuff is going to be at range, which is really cool. These guys are really powerful. I've already uh, kind of um, went up against a few of these guys. Very powerful mechs. Assault mech is all-purpose again. I kind of like the all-purpose a little bit. They have a little bit more hit points and stuff. Uh, Bruiser is like a tank mech. This guy has missiles and other like kind of heavier hitting guns. Really awesome. I think they just have more um, hit points and stuff. Then we got the big guys, the brawler. Uh, cl close range heavy defense rocketeers this is all missiles and like lots of attack and this guy's art artillery kind of um, I don't know, actually know how this guy works but basically there's lots of different mechs in this game that have different roles um, pretty cool pretty cool so that's the garage um, what I also wanted to show you was uh, let me go over my list let's see garage upgrade system I already talked about that skill points talked about that settings okay there's a lot of different cool settings in this game um, you can invert your mouse or invert your turning. Like uh, the mouse sensitivity starts out at like 40, and I bumped it up. I think I'm gonna bump it up some more. Like the turning, when I want to turn fast, I think the mouse sensitivity is part of that. Field of view, I put max on that. Uh, camera shake, it actually starts out reduced. This is kind of like a vibration in sniper mode. I'm setting it to low here, so because when I don't want to rock around too much, it probably is gonna affect my aim. Um, one of the things I also took off was show siege rules and show missile assault rules, and I'll talk to you about that in a second. Those are different game modes. I'll turn them back on just for this uh, first look to show you uh, kind of what the rules are. So, really cool, really cool. Key bindings, you got a full set of key bindings, video settings is kind of normal, regular stuff here. Audio, obviously, all this stuff is pretty... Now, they do have an in-game speech. Uh, not a lot of people are using it right now, which I think is kind of good. I, I really don't want to talk to people that are at ran you know just in random battles and stuff, but you, I don't know, whatever you can. So that's settings. Now the battle types, which I'm going to show you right now, they do have actually, which is really cool. Um, so a couple of a couple of quick um, little guides for you, little walkthroughs here to kind of teach you the game. Um, that's really cool. They did not have this in closed beta, so I'm really glad they added this in. Um, they show you like how to fire your weapons, how to do all the movements and stuff. So you can do these when you first log in to kind of check out the game. Uh, and then they have a couple of training videos to tell you kind of how these two different um, battle styles work. These are the two more complicated ones. They do have four different kinds. We're about to show you that right now. So, the first two they don't have video ones are pretty easy. Deathmatch, that's just free for all. Just kill everybody you see. Team Deathmatch, obviously kill the enemy. Um, and then Missile Assault is like a capture and hold kind of. If you played uh, uh, Call of Duty, you know a lot about that. Basically, capture the flag and sit on the flag. Make sure the other enemy doesn't capture it. Now, you can cap a flag and run off and get the other flag, and you'll still get points while your team still controls that flag. Um, Siege is a totally new uh, game style that I haven't seen in other games. Basically, the way this works is uh, the each team has a base, and that base has a certain amount of hit points. The only way to damage an enemy team's base is to have your uh, battleship fly over to the enemy team and drop uh, bombs on them, basically. So how you, how you do that is there are two points in the, in the maps so far anyway, the maps they have available, that you can go take your mech over to and collect energy from the little energy beacon. All you have to do is stand next to it. Your mech can absorb up to a certain amount of, of energy. You take that energy back to your base and deposit it, and I'm going to show you all this stuff in-game. In, in game. You deposit it, and uh, once you have enough energy, you'll, your team will launch a battleship. Now once you do that, the center of the map becomes very important because that's where the AA is. The AA facility is kind of like a flag. Uh, if you capture the AA facility, you control it. So let's say you launched a battleship. You definitely want to capture the AA facility so that the enemy cannot shoot down your battleship with it. That makes it a lot easier for your battleship to fly over to the other side and bomb the enemy base. Um, so that's really cool. It brings a lot of PvP into one spot and gets a lot of PV PvP going. I really like it. Um, you definitely want to capture that if the enemy has a battleship going over because it makes it a lot easier to take down. If you cannot capture that, you can still shoot at the engines um, just with your regular mech and take it out. So, really cool little mode. I'm going to show you Siege mode now. Let's go into some gameplay. So now we're getting into a match here. And the one thing I don't really like is the matches seem pretty small with only like five or six guys on each side. And you can hear a guy talking in chat. He's leaving his freaking mic open, which I don't like. Uh, you can probably turn that off. I'm probably going to have to do that. But anyway, this is showing you how to, how to uh, basically play this match. Collect EU from these for energy points right here, deliver it to the base here, and then defend the anti air and watch the to repeat to destroy the enemy base basically. So let's go check that out. So here I am, I'm ready. 
here's my team, five versus five. Uh, in closed beta, it was in, an, uh, in a game that was more like 10 versus 10. So I'm really hoping that, that, that the reason this is is because the game did just come out in uh, open beta, and I'm on the West Coast late at night, so there's not a lot of people on. It's all West Coast people. Um, I'm wondering if right now I could probably turn those guys off. Let's see. Audio settings, right? Oh, that took me out of that. Audio settings. Other player volume. Let's turn it off. Okay, there we go. Sweet. Now I'm in a staging area. All I have to do is launch my mech. So you can see all my stuff. Uh, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. It's time to get in the game. I don't think you can change anything out once you're actually in the game. So, obviously, there's a countdown. There's two, so far that I know, there's two different siege maps. This is one of them. This has a lot of different, um, basically, Z-axis stuff in here. Uh, the other map is a little bit flatter. I kind of like that one a little better because I'm, I'm kind of a noob at the game, and I don't know the maps, and so somebody who knows these maps is going to have a lot better uh, chance at victory. Another thing I hope they improve upon is it doesn't seem like there's any... Well, that guy left the game. Doesn't seem like there's any ranking systems. So somebody who's been in the game a long time has really upgraded mechs, kind of goes up against newbies, which I really wish they would change that. It looks like the game's already started here. I'm just walking around and doing things. So see, those are the energy points. I'm going to try to collect energy from energy point one here. So it's WAS movement. Right click will fire my missile on the right there, and left click will fire my little assault gun. There's a guy out at the AA already. So I'm going to come drop down here. Space bar fires your jump jets, kind of, which can allow you to hover and fly over things. If you hold shift, it's kind of like a sprint, but you run out of fuel. You can only do it for a certain amount of time. Now, I'm collecting energy. You can see that in the bottom uh, left little screen there. I've collected 50 energy. I can do about 200 energy in this mech. Once I collect even 100, it's time to go back to base if I don't see any enemies. Because you want it. Now, if you look at the top right, or top left, I'm sorry, the white. I, we need 521 energy to launch a battleship. The enemy is really collecting energy fast. We are way behind in that. Now you can interrupt their energy collection, which is what we really should be doing, probably. Um, but first, I'm going to dump this energy off. My hit points are the bottom left there, where it says 709. That's the hit points I have on this mech. Different mechs have different amount of hit points. The assault mechs, which is one of the mechs that I'm driving, generally have a pretty good amount of hit points. Obviously, the snipers and stuff are going to have less. So now I'm coming back to base. Wow, they've already launched a battleship. This is not good for us. You press press E when you're coming up to this thing to dump off your energy. Once I dump this energy, I'm going to go straight to the AA. Takes a little bit. You get uh, XP and credits and stuff for dumping off energy like this. 200 energy is quite a lot. In the larger games with 10 people on each side, it's a lot harder to collect energy. You can't usually just walk up and start collecting. We really need to uh, disrupt their energy collection because they're doing a really good job doing it. So now it's time to get combat. Now there's a couple other things you can do in co uh, with movement here. If I'm pushing left and right and shift, I'll dodge. Okay, there's a guy. So you can see his hit points. It's kind of cool. Use the bounce, jump up. Now this game's a lot faster paced and a lot more... Uh, see, he did, did a dodge and tried to hide. He's probably going to juice me because I'm. he's just doing... A, you got to dodge. I'm not doing dodge very well. He's also level 22 and he's in an upgraded mech. So, you really, it's definitely a very Twitch-like game. It's not like World of Tanks in that regard. Uh, this is more like a Call of Duty or Battlefield 3. And you just have to kind of get used to the controls. At first, it's a little bit frustrating because you're going to get owned a lot. You're in a newbie mech, and you're going to get up against more veteran players, even so early in the open beta. A lot of people play closed beta for a long time, so... There's a guy already shooting at me. There's one more thing I want to show you about combat, but I can't show you yet. Oh, somebody's shooting missiles at me. Here we go. See, he's dodging now. He's already juicing me. Yeah, I'm going to need to... We're getting camped. I think a lot of my people left the game. We're getting camped at base. This is why they definitely need a better uh, matchmaking system. Because going up against really awesome people, it just makes it really tough. I want to show you one more thing before I get out of this first look. I want to show you how to repair. So I'm going to come over here and hide. I actually haven't taken any damage, so it won't let me. I need to be... Here, I'll just damage myself. Okay. If you hold and press C, your bot will pop out and start healing you. It takes a little while. you got to keep holding C. But it's a nice way to kind of, you know, when you're after a, mat, a battle or something, 
Wow, I can get up this uh, little thing here. It seems kind of weird. So here's the there's the battleship. Now I can shoot the battleship. And the hit points are going down. See that? Got to get that battleship out of here. But I think I'm on I'm pretty much the only guy on my team, so this is going to be really difficult. There we go. So my also your uh, weapons will overheat. Got to make sure. Oh, I hit the, I didn't actually hit the dude there. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> so they definitely did a little bit better matchmaking. It'd be nice to be going up against the newbies, but whatever. That's the way. So that's Hawking. Pretty fun little game. Uh, it showed you everything you really need to go to get, know to get started on it. It's pretty neat, and I'm glad you don't have to. Um, purchase money to actually do anything in this game. You can play this whole thing for free as far as I know now uh, without them changing anything. Uh, pretty nice little game and tell me what you think guys. See ya.